Hi, my name is Carl Wellborn, and I'm an avid lover of God as revealed in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the Lord Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth, and how he is the missing piece to joy and satisfaction that you've been pursuing in your life. I don't want to be canned Christianity or cliche Bible thumper, but I'm going to use the Bible. <laughs> I want to present to you in three short videos how Jesus is going to be the satisfaction to your life, the freedom from the pain that you've been experiencing, how he gives power for you to love truly as seen as he loved, and then also what that looks like to be called to love. So in this video specifically, we're going to talk about freedom from an issue of sin, the brokenness that you've seen in your world and that you've experienced in your life. You know, uh, I'm an assistant pastor at 12th Street Baptist Church in Kalamazoo, and one of our members recently received a diagnosis of cancer that the doctors told him was inoperable. Just last week, he also received news that his mother died shortly after receiving the horrible news about cancer. Can you imagine, I'm sure you can because you may or may not know somebody, but more than likely somebody personally who's been impacted by cancer. The brokenness of our bodies, the sickness, the disease that eventually leads to death. Have you noticed in our world also the same thing? Animals are dying on the brink of extinction. We're losing our trees. All sorts of things that point towards a broken world. And constantly people are, are searching for happiness, for peace. And so this is why I want to present to you. In the same fashion that my dear friend and brother at our church is experiencing pain, in his body as a result of the cancer leading to death and the death that he's experienced and the sadness that he's experiencing because of the loss of his mother. We are experiencing that because of a deep issue which results of spiritual brokenness. You know the Bible tells us this. Romans chapter 5 in verse 12 it says, Wherefore as by one man sin entered into the world and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Sin is this, us missing the standard of God's holiness and perfection. You see, He, when He made the world, had an order to things that resulted in life and life abundantly. And when the first man, Adam, disobeyed God in an attempt to find something more satisfying than God, it resulted in sin entering the world and brokenness and death. There was a separation between God and man that had to be bridged and man could not bridge that gap. Man was cut off from life and God is the source and author of life. And so I present this to you, that God loves us so much that He sent His Son his only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus, who came from Him, was born into the world, lived a life of perfect love, and demonstrated the ultimate love in dying on the cross so that we wouldn't have to. And for those who trust on the Lord Jesus, they have life everlasting. They won't die, but in fact they've passed from death to life, God's Word tells us. Can I challenge you to look into authenticity of the Word of God? If you haven't looked at the history of Jesus, if you haven't considered the authenticity of the Holy Bible, I would challenge you to do so. It's the difference between life and death. If this is true, Jesus is the source of life that you've been looking for. Thank you.